you know, a gentleman, uh, you know, growing up by my house was a small pond that, you know, my dad used to take me there fishing. And I still drive past that pond occasionally and smile thinking about that. And sort of in a full moment circle, last year I had the opportunity to take him fishing up in Port Clinton, did a walleye uh, charter. And to me, that's what fishing is all about. Those, uh, those moments, those memories, those traditions. I've never fished in a, a tournament before, but I, watching the captain that we did last year, I think I can appreciate the individual skills that is required to you know, define the fish, right? Uh, to, to get one on the line, whether your lure that you use, um, <laughs> actually get it in the boat. Uh, it's not that easy. You guys too have skills, um, but like so many other common criminals who come before me, you chose to use those skills in a nefarious way. Uh, the ancient Greek writer uh, Sophocles wrote, I would prefer to even fail with honor than to win by cheating. And really at the end of the day, you're convicted felons and cheaters. After considering the purposes and principles set forth in sentencing, and we'll find that you are amenable to community control sanctions. And for count one, <clears throat> would be put on group B supervision for both of you. I'm gonna impose a $2,500 fine. However, well, and court costs and supervision fees. I will suspend half of that fine fees and costs provided that you guys make a like one half charitable contribution to one of the 501c3 uh, charitable organizations that focus on, <clears throat> excuse me, fishing and children. There's Cast for Kids Foundation, Kids Fishing Foundation, Fish for Kids Charity Foundation, or the Ike Foundation. Any one or other of a foundation, of a legitimate 501c3 organization that deals with children fishing. I will forfeit your, uh, your license for the mandatory three or maximum. On count uh, four, I give a 30 day uh, jail sentence, which I'll suspend. One of the criteria that I am to consider in every uh, felony sentencing, um, one of the big issues is uh, always uh, remorse, which I do genuinely believe that you gentlemen are remorseful. Um, I felt I read that in your letters to me as I've indicated to you, and I do believe that. But there is a consideration for deterrence, which I think is uh, also an equally important um, consideration. And so while I will give you each a community control sanction, I'm going to start you off with a jail day, a 10 day jail sentence. Um, so uh, my deputies are in the courtroom, Mr. Brown. Um, anyways, we'll start you with a 10-day jail sentence, after which, upon your release, you report to probation, begin your, uh, your supervision. Um, I don't recall where you gentlemen reside, and so if there's a uh, need for courtesy supervision, we will certainly uh, authorize that. Uh, anything else, Mr. Rogalski? Um, I want to make sure that the, well, we get out the record, well, or, the journal entry the forfeiture of the boat to the and the, wildlife. and the trailer. And the trailer. Right. Gentlemen, uh, you take these men into custody for a 10-day jail sentence. Uh, anything else, Mr. Gentile? Is there a length of the probationary term? The, it's a group B, which is for a year and a half. Uh, they violate, they're looking at a 12-month prison sentence on count one. I've given them the credit for, for service on count four. Right, anything else, you. Mr. Spellacy? Oh, Judge, thank you. All right, thank you, everyone. We'll be in recess. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Florida Town Recess.